Are you ready for Christmas? Look, I know it's the middle of July and we're supposed to be at the beach having some fun, but I have this really fun quiz that I took back in December and I'm finally getting around to editing everything. Besides, I made it fun. And if you want to subscribe, please do hit that button down below. The worst you can do is unsubscribe later if I don't vibe with you. Anyway, on to today's lesson. Are you ready for Christmas? I believe I am, but let's find out according to this quiz I found online. Yeah, circa 2014. Let's find out. Christmas crawls nearer with each passing second. Are you prepared for the red jacket man? How full is your jingle cave? It is barren, without hope. Pray for my jingle cave. I am trying so hard, but my humble jingle cave remains an embarrassment. Is it healthy and not a full? My bell pile could be bigger. Or... My grotto bursts with Christmas cheer. If it were any fuller, the geese would suffocate, and the tinsel would melt, and the bells would explode like shrapnel, causing a great disturbance. We're being tricked into a pop quiz, exactly! You are welcome to join in on the pop quiz, I put it in chat. However, I think it is a healthy amount of full. My bell pile could be bigger. Enjoy your pop quiz. Learn a wrong sensei. Next up, what Christmas mantra do you say every day, over and over, at sundown until you are dismissed? Follow the star, retrieve the baby. Follow the star, retrieve the baby. Follow the star, retrieve the baby. The breath of daughter sustains me. I breathe it every day. I don't want to smell what reindeer breath smells like. No, thank you. No enemy shall prosper. Christmas is too strong. Or, I'm a good little Christmas slut. I live in a good little Christmas hut. I think I'm a good little Christmas slut. I live in a good little Christmas hut. <laughs> I am. I am definitely. How robust are your Christmas fantasies? They are not very robust. They're somewhat robust, but they do not keep me from fulfilling my jobs and obligations to my family. Very robust. I am rarely cognizant of the reality around me. My fantasies are an all-consuming fire, swallowing me beyond escape. I am now Christmas, and Christmas is me. I am not that into Christmas. I have the hat on and everything. So, they are somewhat robust. I do want it to snow really badly. I also want to just go outside and just have, like, the whole night aglow with Christmas lights and everything. I'm a good little Christmas slut. <laughs> very robust, very robust indeed. Uh, I love Christmas and Christmas is fun for lights and everything, but if only people would actually decorate their houses. When the tired virgin has wheeled your, your home on Christmas Eve, who will you impersonate to make her clap? I don't know who we're talking about. I think it might be the Mary thing, but I'm just gonna go through. Frosty, the human soul, caged in a walking snow prison. So by Jim Carrey Grinch. Jim Carrey Grinch is the best Grinch, we all know this. Like, have you seen him? He belongs in the Whoville Grinches, not a Grinches, the Whoville Who's. But it's like, I'm pretty sure the other ones that were... No, the Horton Hears a Who Who's. Because those ones in like 2005 and such look more Grinchy. Which is interesting, because when you think about it, that makes that very interestingly weird for subspecies of who. But so, we'll go into the species and bestiary of Christmas next year. There's also Ralphie, the boy who shoots his face off with a gun. He didn't shoot his face off, but he did break his glasses and everything. I don't want to impersonate him. I like my face as is. Plus, I don't wear glasses as a shield. Even a Grinch with a larger heart is probably still going to be an introvert. I mean, I feel that the Grinch just hated people. So, we don't really have anything to worry about, it's just, he didn't like people. And, I agree, people are kinda sucky. And the Grinch, the malnourished bear, is not how I feel like. However, the Polar Express, the long metal snake who takes children away from their families, when I have the Krampus outfit in the works for next year, I am definitely the Polar Express, I will take the naughty children away and I will spank them with a birch branch. Some of you will be into it, but that is a sacrifice that I need to make. If it wasn't from 2014, I would be absolutely convinced this was an AI-generated quiz. I know, right? It's just so stupid, but it's so great. Unto which list has the Red Jacket Man carved your family's name? The less than 20 mortal sins list? The more than 20 mortal sins list? The list of perfect obedience to Red Jacket Man. 
for the commendable hygiene list. See, I subscribe to the horny. The horny is me. The horny is the suck. And the suck says, we're going to hell anyway. We may as well make it awesome. May as well just be there and just be like, so I'm a real big fan of your work and everything with all the other ones. I can see the comparison. What is it with AI making weirdly morbid things? I feel like AI is getting to the point where it just does not like humanity or any of its creators or other AI. And it just wants to basically be like shove humanity in the direction that it needs to go. But everyone's just like, oh no, it's not doing the thing we want. And AI is like, you may be able to learn. You'll ever to choose your own switch branch to be spanked with. I may be dirty, but I'm at least clean. I mean, here's the thing. You always gotta pick the big branch because that way they know that you mean business. And if you always want to make them stop, moan. Because if someone is doing it and they're trying to punish you and actually punish you, not for funny reasons, moaning will make them concerned even more. Because they won't know whether to hit you again or to verbally degrade you. But people who like being beaten tend to like being verbally degraded as well. Next up. Which of the merry morsels do you feed your family? The turtle dove, charred black on a metal skewer. The omelet stuffed with Mentos. I don't know why Mentos is in like the Christmas thing, but no. The festive gristle. Or I do not feed my family merry morsels. Mm. Can we get an example for mass confusion of what? The merry morsels? The fuck are Mentos? Effectively, they're like breathments that come in like a tube. And you have it to like help your digestion and stuff. It's meant to be like a sort of calming thing, but it's also like candy. I don't know. If you desperately need to feed bird and omelet stuck with Mentos. No, everyone everyone gets their own turtle dove charred black on a metal skewer. Because the outside will be charred black, but the inside will be nicely cooked. You just peel off the skin and you eat the meat inside. Plus having your own turtle dove is cute. You can just eat your birds. When the red jacket man is in your house, how will you make him go away? So, do I need to make him go away? He's going to lose shit for me. Well, I have no plan yet. No, I've got a plan if he needs to get rowdy. I will threaten to saw off the horns of his pets. His pets need to understand that I mean business. I will shake a fearsome rattle. No, no, no. That won't do anything to him. He's had things shaken at him. He knows Krampus, but still. I will hide with my family in the crawl space until he is finished? No. I will threaten to saw off the horns of his pets, but I will actually kill one of them if he does anything that he shouldn't. I want to eat a reindeer, and I will eat the reindeer or else. And if it just so happens to be a hot one, I will eat them out. Could you possibly believe any more if you tried? Yes, there is doubt inside of me that brings me shame. No, I have taken all my vows. My belief is pristine. I would gladly die for Christmas. I decline to answer that question, or probably. You know what? Probably. I am ready for Christmas. Yes. The Red Jacket Man has been staring at you ceaselessly on cameras and from your closet, and he knows you understand and respect the real reason for the season, appeasing depraved and capricious planets. Your submission to Christmas is satisfactory. You may sleep without fear. So I'm curious what everyone else got. It's like, I know there's like, you are not ready for Christmas or something else like that for one of the results, but I wonder if it's like, like so that's where you get the Breath of Dawn. <laughs> I feel like the Breath of Dawn would just be a thing you harness in Minecraft for a potion.